Good morning everyone, this is Stephanie Nelson from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns. Today we have a video that is going to show you how to take a single ply of hand spun yarn and make it into a two ply when all you have is one bobbin and a spinning wheel. We're going to disengage our drive band, disengage your brake or your tension. And we've kept our single ply through the orifice. We've kept it on the bobbin. And the way I have, you want to keep track of this piece of your yarn. This piece is very important because we need to know where it is so we can ply it. I simply wrap it around my fingers. And I'm going to grab the yarn, start winding it around my hand. The yarn that we're working with today is a alpaca, silk, bamboo, angelina, and angora mix. We just keep winding. At this point we are done winding our single ply onto our hand. It's through the orifice. We've left it attached to the leader on your spinning wheel. We put our drive band back on. We are now going to put the tension band back on. And if you notice, uh, I have it pretty tightly wrapped around my hand. Um, don't wrap it too tight around your hand. You can end up, it could be painful if you do that. So be smart. Now the reason we wrapped it around our fingers, remember, is because we wanted to be able to find, here it is, the start. So this is the start. We need to keep, pay attention to this. I want you to remove it off your hand carefully. Don't make a mess of it. Okay. Now this is going to be able to be pulled, see that? We can pull this through the center. That's what we need to do. You want to set the, set the ball that you wound from your hand, set it on your lap. You want to attach. So we never changed our bobbin. This is the same bobbin. We're just going to attach it. We're going counterclockwise because we spun the yarn clockwise and we're going to start start spinning start plying the yarn itself is coming from both the center and the outside of the hand wound ball of single You want to keep track of the ball of yarn. You don't want it to be messy. You don't want it to get all tangled. If, and sometimes that happens. This might happen. Um, might happen with this one today. We don't know. We try to do our best. Uh, if you find that you do get a tangle, just be patient with it. Don't start pulling. Um, it can tighten the ply on itself and make a knot. And then you're left with an even uh, more difficult situation than when you started. So you can see if I let this go, I'm spinning this a little too tight. That means I need to adjust my, my tension. A little bit too much counter, uh, a little bit too much twist is going on here. Typically when I'm plying, I just want the tension to be able to pull the yarn out of my hands gently without having to move my hands back. You can see right now that I'm moving my hands back. That's because my tension is still, it's still not uh, tense enough, still not high enough. There we go, we're getting a little better. 
We are getting towards the end. We took a little break and tended the fire. When it gets to the end like this, you can see things get a little bit muddled up. That's okay. Keep track as best as you can. Slow down if you have to. Took a while for us to get a couple bobbins. And we find that's pretty normal. People, um, people in the fiber arts and spinning don't necessarily go out and buy every single possible tool at first. Usually it's a slow process. And there's many reasons. Everyone has their own reasons for that. And there's no right or wrong way, right or wrong way to get into fiber arts. So we got to the end. This is the end. It will look like this. A little loop. We have our applied fiber. Now the last thing that we have to do is take this off of the spinning wheel. Disengage your drive band and disengage your tension. We want to leave it in the orifice and we're going to use our arms. You can use a chair, but if you don't have a nitty knotty, we do the same thing where we wind it around our fingers. We want to just pay attention to this, uh, this little end here. And don't do this too tight, but just wind it around your arm. There. You use your hand and your arm. If you want to keep track of length, obviously measure um, how much once around your hand and your elbow would be, and then multiply it by the number of strands on one side and you will get your length. Look at, do you see what's going on here? You have a little tangle. Spinning is definitely, there. it is a craft. There are rules that are important and there are rules that can be broken. All right, we are at the end. And the last piece is, this just comes off our, our fingers nicely, the end. We take it off of our elbow. And we're going to keep it attached to our leader line. We're just going to spin it a little bit, put our hand through one side, pull the loop through the other and you have a nice little ball of two-ply yarn. And you have an end. So that's it. That's what we created just using one bobbin. We didn't even use scissors.